Hey guys, this is Jacob here. I'm leveling, or I'm finishing a story on Seating Rehon. And guys, I must tell you, it was a terrible experience. Character is crazy weak during its leveling phases, and if I wasn't a seasoned player, I would have stopped playing the game if this was my first experience with it, because it was really terrible. See? So early, I, I know that if I level him up and I struggle through the early phases, it will be a crazy good character. But early on, experience was terrible. But yeah, I'm just finishing the story. I will go through all, or over their leveling build. But yeah, there's not really much else to say here. Like, let's finish this last boss. And the experience felt terrible until around level 30. <clears throat> then I started to drop in gear with life regen, which helped me a lot with survivability. Like, if you get life regen on something, keep that item, equip it, and it will help you, like, a lot, a lot. So yeah, let's go over the build. So just finish the story, just start stacking en energy wh whenever you have the opportunity to, once you get high enough level, just get more energy. Uh, this belt helps you with the last uh, support skill that, uh, uh, that they recommend you uh, in the build, which gives you higher chance of getting steep strike charges, which your flame slash then deal higher damage when you have those, so yeah, definitely use that if you get it from some of the throws. Also try to use the throws to overlevel yourself a bit during the leveling phases because the character is crazy weak. But yeah, other than that, uh, use the items that give you like higher percentage uh, on attack and if you get a high boost in survivability for a cost of a few percent of attack, then yeah, definitely use that, because the character feels really squishy early on. So that was the gear. Now let's go over their build. <coughs> I followed it, because I don't want to think about the build when I'm leveling, uh, or when I'm like doing the story, so just follow what they recommend. Uh, what I would recommend the devs to do here is put this talent somewhere earlier in the tree and like a weak version of the talent somewhere earlier in the build with like let's say 5 levels instead of 10 of scaling like 10 to 3 every 5 levels I think that that would help with the leveling a lot if you put the talent somewhere here around level 6 because the damage of the character early on is just terrible. So, but yeah, you are stuck in fire damage, you are using flame slash which deals fire damage. <coughs> so, yeah. That's their leveling build. Um, for the skills, I recommend you flame slash. Like flame slash converts your physical damage to fire damage. Uh, here, 100% physical damage to fire damage, and then add something on top. And it, with steep strikes, uh, the base version of the skill looks like this. And when you get steep strike, it fires the like early on three of those fire lines. And later on, as you get more area, it starts firing more, and that just means you cover uh, like more space and those steep strikes actually deal a little bit more damage as well. And that's why you are using the fearless, fearless war cry, because it increases your chance to get steep strike charges actually, so yeah. Compound source, limber stretch, like early on, uh, you, I struggled a lot with charges on this because I was using the skill a lot, so Whenever you get a chance to get the auto charge on it, just get it, because you will use it a lot. Leap attack, quick mobility, and hardened for like damage reduction, obvious choices here. And bull's rage with extended duration. Yeah, 
the first aura, I used summon Thunder Spirit for more attack speed, and then I put in Acuteness imbue. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, so far, terrible experience. Now the true fun begins. I will start mapping. I will start switching the build into live stacking. So yeah, if you'd like to watch or stay with me, uh, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I will see you in the next one. Bye.